Good afternoon, we are at Savannah Boom Airport in Bangkok. Uh, we're going to fly off to Udon Thani uh, a bit later this afternoon um, and stay over in Udon Thani. And then tomorrow we are heading to Nongbua. So tomorrow it's Nongbua versus Paul. Uh, this is a game I've been kind of looking forward to for, well, years. I didn't think it was going to happen, but Nongbua are in the Premier League now. So tomorrow we're going to also see Nongbua's new stadium. So the last time I went to Nongbua they were still playing in the second division at the old stadium. Uh, but yeah, tomorrow it's kind of split loyalties for me. It's Nongbua v Port. Uh, Dream's here as well, off the back of her 386 hour <laughs> bus trip to Chiang Rai. I sent her on uh, a couple of weeks ago. So uh, yeah, this, this game's going to be a bit easier because we've got the flight, which is one hour. Uh, and yeah, my friend Gary's driving up from Royette um, and that's how we're going to the game tomorrow. ค่ะสวัสดีค่ะช่วงบ่ายวันนี้นะคะเรากําลังจะ <coughs> Good afternoon, it's match day. Uh, we're at Nom Prajak Park in Udon Thani. Just gonna have a quick look around here, uh, maybe see a bit of other stuff as well before we meet up with Gary uh, and then head off to Nongbua for the match. I like the Nongbua shirt. <laughs> oh, you, you like it now? <laughs> I, still, I still don't know what shirt I'm going to wear for the match. I might flip flop another six You're times. Sure. I might flip flop another six times between now and kickoff. Uh, but yeah, I'll just show you a bit of this part. So, so over the other side of the lake, we've got a big Udon Thani sign. You can see a plane. I don't know, you probably can't see it on the video, there's a plane taking off over there. But then over there, we've got big, big, uh, big giant rubber duck. I think there's three big parks in Udon Thani. Uh, but this is like the main one, this is the biggest one, Nong Prajak. Uh, there's not much stuff open, there's usually over the other side of the road there. But there's usually lots of like little cafes and massage shops. Uh, but I guess, I guess because of Covid they're not operating at the moment. I think all these pigeons know that she's got food. <laughs> Do they? Yeah. Then why are you doing it then? Is that supposed to be for the fish? Excuse me. Pardon me. Whoa. Whoa. Shame the water is not a bit clearer because I can't really. Now I think every pigeon within a two mile radius knows that you're you're dishing out bread bread crusts. Words words out on the street that you've got food. We did pass a uh, rental shop. You can rent the bicycles here for I think 20 baht for one hour, uh, which is really reasonable. And here we are at the suspension bridge. It's kind of like a 
scale model of the Golden Gate Bridge. This bridge uh, does wobble a bit underfoot. And that's a really cool park. Kind of knocks the spots off of what we've got in Bangkok in terms of uh, city parks. I guess until they open the new Benjikiti Park maybe, but yeah, I really, I really like what they've done with this place. Outside Nong Pajak Park, we've got this one. Because of tea, uh, this one over here has got an even more strange name. Uh, over here we've got the Virgin Squeeze. And keeping on the on the duck theme, now we've got another star ducks. So, uh, what do you think of Non Project Park? Lovely. I think that's the biggest rubber duck I've ever seen. Oh, very nice. I think they're setting up some kind of festival or event, putting up a big stage here. Oh, very nice. Okay, we are on the road. I say we're on the road to Norway. <laughs> we're, on the ro we're on the road to Norway. We're, on, we're stuck in a. We're on the road to Norway. Where are we? Oh, on a. Come yeah. on inside. I'd say we're stuck at a red light, but it's actually a green light. Um, <laughs> we're still not moving, but we're, according to the GPS, I think we're about 40 kilometres from Nongbua. Here we are at the at the brand new uh, Pichaya Stadium, home of Nongbua. So this is Nongbua's first season in the Thai Thai Premier League, and uh, they're doing okay uh, tonight. I think this is I think Portsmouth fifth at the moment, Nongbua about seventh. Uh, of the three promoted teams that came up, Konkan United, Chiang Mai. Uh, and Nongbua, uh, yeah, Nongbua uh, definitely holding their own. And the main man we have to watch out for tonight for Port, really, uh, Hamilton Suarez, the striker. He's already he's already notched up about eight or nine goals already. Uh, you know, for a promoted team, that's that's a really good return. I think he's got to be one of the top scorers in the league. So I think we've got about well, 15 minutes to kick off. So obviously traffic was a little bit heavy coming away from Udon uh, and we just about made it in time. Uh, so let's go and take a look. Uh, let's take a look at this new stadium. <laughs> so yeah, at the moment, so they've just got this big, big, big main stand here uh, there's nothing uh, nothing behind the goal and then we've got a couple of kind of temporary looking stands over there 
uh, which is where we'll probably be. Ah, oh, she's found, oh it's a queue. Bollocks. Oh, this is turning into the mother and brother of all cock-ups. Uh, we just asked some people where to get tickets and they sent us over this side. Um, which seemed a bit weird and sure enough, uh, we actually need to be right over the other side to get tickets for the, for the port side. And I can see the port party bus over there. It's your bus. Oh, there you go. They got half. Looks like they got half decent toilet. Looks like they got half decent toilet. About five minutes played, it's still nil-nil. Uh, good news, I think, for the port defence anyways. Uh, Hamilton Suarez, like the main threat for Longbo, it doesn't look like he's playing today. What do you think of the game so far? What do you think of the game so far without glasses? Doesn't, it's great. <laughs> does it improve your vision of Thai football without your glasses? Does it? Uh, Just a few minutes until half time, Paul take the lead. Uh, probably no more than they've deserved, really. They've been playing pretty well. Corner into the box, someone jumped up and headed it in. Uh, can't see from here who scored. Um, I'm sure I'll, I will add the name of the goal scorer in the edit. 1 0 to Port. And that, well, that section wrong as well. Put that into a car. There's no way this is 50%. Half time here at the Pichaya Stadium. Um, I'm very impressed with the stadium. Yes, okay, it's only one stand. Uh, but the atmosphere is really good. Nongbua, I think, are only supposed to have. 50%. What do you think of the new stadium? Nice. Beautiful. Beautiful. It's beautiful. Everything's beautiful. <laughs> no, it's uh, and the sun. Well, did you? See, you didn't see the sunset at the start. There was like a nice sunset oh, over, no. like over there. They had like a uh, yeah. No, they had a really nice sunset before the start. Um, extra points because you can drink beer inside the ground. That's always nice to see. Uh, Port are playing quite well. I think Nongbua. It's a big miss for them. Hamilton Suarez not playing tonight. He's their main man. Uh, without him, they haven't really got a focal point up top. Uh, but yeah, Port are doing all right here. And yeah, just a bit of a drama getting here. Only just made it in time for kickoff. We're in only like it's a temporary, it's only like a very temporary looking away section they've got there. Uh, but they've got all youth pitches over the back. So the idea here is that they've got all these youth pitches they're obviously looking to nurture local players and then, you know, blood them into the Nongbua team. So uh, they're definitely trying to put a stamp, put a stamp down, so this will become like a bit of a community team in Nongbua. And uh, yeah, I think, you know, if uh, Nongbua continue to be successful, they'll probably fill the st rest of the stadium in. Um, so yeah, very impressed with the setup here. Much big improvement on what I went to 
three years ago and uh, yeah we just the uh, the crew from the port party bus are just tailgating just behind me so yeah one nil to did you did you see any of the goal without your glasses yes really I saw, yes sure i was watching i think you what on my phone because i was recording and i had zoomed in Oh my god, I was watching the camera. Ah, okay. Yeah, it's uh, very good, very good setup here. So this was a gift from Nongbua. Is it? A, yeah. Yeah, free meatballs from the Nongbua fans. A, don't usually get presents from the uh, presents from the opposition team. He said, if you don't finish, then we're not allowed to live. Ah. Very nice. So they're exchanging scarves, there we go, Port and Nongbua. Well, there's a bit of a buzz around the stadium now. The Nongbua fans have definitely woken up. The big man is on. Hamilton Suarez is coming on. Uh, it's about 62 minutes played. So uh, this could be really turn the tide in Nongbua's favour. He's their main man. these little breaks and then uh, they're not putting it to bed.
referee's just gone to check the VAR. So there, yeah, we think there could be a foul in the build-up before uh, before the goalkeeper got before the goalkeeper got completely uh, left behind. Disallowed. Yep, VAR. No, no, there was well, a. He's going to pull it back for a free kick, right, down here. Yeah. So there was a foul. Uh, it looks like there was a foul uh, down the other end of the pitch. The referees pulled it right back. So now, instead of a goal for Port, uh, Nongbura have got a free kick about 25 yards out and probably the last kick of the game. couple of minutes of injury time. We thought Port had scored, then it was disallowed. So it gave Nongbu a free kick, which I think was just deflected over. Uh, but the Nongbu players are still not happy. They're surrounding the referee. Uh, so it's a bit of a spiky end to the game. But yeah, Port are the winners, 1-0. Nongbura launching missiles at the referee as he goes back down the tunnel. I think I saw a couple of uh, cups of beer go in his direction. Gary, what did you think of the, A, the stadium, the set up here and B, the match? Well, the stadium is, uh, it'll be great if they, uh, if they complete it, especially on, on, the, on the away side, our side. Uh, but in general, I thought Port were uh, by far the better team. I mean, yeah, I, I thought they could have put it to bed before the yeah. big man came on. For yeah, they, they probably they probably should have won 3 0, I would have thought. But uh, it was when the uh, Brazilian Andy Carroll came on that it, everything <laughs> got a bit nervous, didn't it? Yeah, well, that, that seemed to be uh, Nongbua's one and only game plan. And without him in the, for the first hour, without him, yeah, Nongbua looked a bit lost without him. But you could feel you could feel the crowd were like yeah there was a noise he came out to do a couple of stretches and that whole i mean it was quite loud that big stand and you could hear it building up yeah i mean if, if they'd have put a decent cross in and uh, and andy had got his head on it <laughs> you could you could see him nicking it but no port were uh, were far better and and I, and I thought they'd get him on the break and they did but they got this allowed so yeah. yeah that was a that was a pretty crazy bit of var at the end there but yeah, a good, a good day out at the stadium. International Airport. Uh, we're on our way home. Uh, so that wraps up this weekend's trip to the Nongbua Stadium. Uh, what was your what was your favourite bit of the trip? Travelling uh, from Udon to Nongbua. Mm -hmm. uh, I get to see new stadium in, in Nongbua. And uh, it was really fun game last night. So yeah, Port held on for a 1-0 win. There was some crazy VAR at the end and the referee's been pelted with beer cups as he made his way back. In, but um, from what I've heard, um, it was a spitting. That, that's why the non defender got sent off. He spat. It was proper uh, Rudy Waller, Frank Reichardt, 
kind of stuff and uh, so rightfully sent off and you'll probably get quite a big fan for that. I was really pleased to see the Nongua Stadium. I've dipped in and out of this, I hate this word, in football projects. Uh, the Nongua project over the last four or five years and you know, seeing this all come to fruition now, new stadium in the Premier League. So uh, yeah, things are looking good. So thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Uh, see you guys again soon. Goodbye for now. Thanks for watching.